all right guys welcome again so now let us create a, a app okay so uh, when it comes to e-commerce application it is uh, obvious that uh, we need to create some obvious apps that are uh, category product and uh, uh, order and again uh, we need to uh, create a store app okay so these are the basics uh, all the e-commerce uh, application should have so first and foremost we will create a category app okay so let's go to the code editor so, so first of all let's close all these things let me right click and close all the tabs okay so all right so just go to the uh, here go to this uh, git bash window and let's uh, stop the server if it is running make sure you are into the virtual environment okay so the first thing is uh, create an app okay so let's say python manage.py start app space the app name that is category okay so uh, enter it all right we have the category app in place so as soon as we create a category or as soon as we create a app we first go to the settings.py file and uh, register this app here okay just say category all right so this is done let's uh, close this settings.py file now let's create a model for the category model we will be having three to four fields okay so first first is uh, the category name and the slug and the category image or maybe we can give a description okay so that is not necessary but we will do that okay so first of all let's create a class for this category category okay so here uh, model start model first thing is a uh, category name okay that is equal to models dot care field uh, for the care field we have to give the max length right so it will be max length 50 and uh, the next one is slug okay so slug is nothing but uh, the url of the category of so this is this should be unique and uh, here also models dot care field um, max length equal to um, maybe 100 comma a uh, unique equal to true and uh, let's make this category name also unique equal to true okay let's uh, make it a uh, unique equal to true so the next is uh, uh, let's uh, say description description is equal to models dot hair field max length equal to 255 and then let's say image this is a category image okay so that is equal to uh, wait let's say cat image okay so this is equal to models dot image field upload to so this is this upload to is nothing but uh, when we upload the uh, file uh, where should it go so th that's the path okay so let's say uh, let's uh, create a folder called photos slash categories okay so inside this uh, this path uh, we want to store the uh, this uh, this uh, category image okay let's say like this and comma blank equal to true okay so this blank equal to true is that it is optional so this description is actually it it should not be character field it should be text field okay 
so and uh, this this is also optional so that's why we will make it as a blank equal to true all right so for the category this is enough and uh, let's make a string representation of the uh, model let's say def strs underscore so this is self a return self dot category name okay so that's it for now now let's go back to the admin.py file here okay so this is just uh, uh, we want that model to be inside the admin admin uh, this thing right admin uh, panel so that's why we need to uh, register that uh, uh, folder uh, i mean the model here first of all we need to import that from dot models import uh, the model name that is category okay so this models is nothing but we are referring to this same uh, same app okay so here we have the models inside this models we have category okay so here so once this is done uh, let's say admin dot site dot register okay this is a small r and category all right so now we have registered the admin uh, you know the model to the admin and we have created the model all right the next step is to make the migrations okay so uh, go to the um git bash window here python space manage dot pi make migrations all right just hit enter all right we have a type error here so there should be something wrong keyword argument upload sorry this is upload to okay so i'm sorry for that and let me just run that python manage dot pi make migrations okay so uh, since we are using the image here image field here we need to install a package called pillow okay so let's say pip install pillow and hit enter okay so now we are good to uh, make the migrations all right now you can see this migration is created this is the 001 initial dot uh, pi file is created here when you go to the category app we have a migration uh, folder we have a 0001 initial dot pi so this is the migration file we have to run this migration file okay so in order to do that we just have to say python space manage dot pi migrate okay now hit enter all right all the migrations are applied all right so now uh, when you go to the admin uh, well uh, we need to uh, run it right python manage dot pi run server okay so just go to the admin so now it is asking for the username and the password right so so far we don't have any username and password we did not create it so to enter into this django administration panel we need to create a super user right so for that let's create let's just stop this and say python um, i think python manage dot by create super user will not run from the git bash okay let's try that actually this is the command to create a super user but uh, it will not run here uh, since we are using the uh, git bash so for that uh, let's say win pty okay win pty then the command python manage dot pi create super user okay so here just say 
the username anything you want to give you can give django admin hmm? okay i'll give a django admin and it is asking for the email address give your email address and the uh, password all right so now the super user is created successfully okay now let me run the run server command refresh now you, we are good to go with the django admin and my password here okay put your username and password that you used for creating a super user and hit enter okay when you log in so this is how it looks this is the category so from here you can uh, create a category right one thing you have to notice here is uh, django uh, models usually when it comes to the django administration panel it automatically makes the model into the plural form okay so for for making it plural form it just adds s after the uh, the model name that means uh, if you create a model called product then it creates uh, like it adds the s after product that is products but uh, for the category thing it is this is not the uh, good thing to show right so this is the uh, uh, typo i mean what i can say this is wrong the spelling is wrong right so, so in order to uh, handle this case we just uh, need to write a uh, uh, one or two lines of uh, code okay so let's uh, go to this uh, model model here so let's say meta okay B because we we want to fix this okay this should be categories r i e s right so that's why just create a meta and here i mean uh, the class meta okay so this is not just meta this is class meta let's say verbose name that is equal to category okay so this is category and uh, verbose plural name is equal to the here you should give the correct uh, category like the model name that uh, is right i think uh, that's enough so just uh, let's uh, let's okay class meta got invalid attributes oh sorry this should be verbose name underscore plural okay so now let's uh, run it again uh, stop it and python manage.py make migrations no again again problem okay uh, the spelling mistake here i'm so sorry for that now let me try again all right so it worked now let's uh, migrate it python manage dot manage dot py migrate all right now let's uh, run it run server refresh okay so now you can see the spelling is correct now so this is fixed now i'll see you in the next one okay